With that ABC 7 first alert, this is one of the reasons, one of the bigger reasons. You can see all these green shaded counties. If you live within this green shaded area, you are under a flash flood watch. What does it mean? Just means conditions are favorable. You could see some flash flooding with some of the storms. Doesn't mean you're gonna, it's gonna happen, but it's just kind of watch out. It does not include El Paso County, Otero County, does include the Sacramento Mountains, nor does it include out there in Hudspeth County. Now that could change as we make our way into uh, tomorrow, but here's what we're tracking right now. Not a whole lot, just some ice outside, showers and storms in the area. Nothing really affected El Paso County. Out here, out in open Doniata County, the southwestern portion of the county, these showers are moving up towards the north. And the same in and around Waco Tanks. We're tracking some of the thunderstorms. You folks in Las Cruces, nothing going on right now. Everything is to the west of you guys, even in and around the Hatch area. We are tracking some of the storms to the west of you. All right, let's take a look at a couple of rainfall models, potentially how much rain we could see. This is up until 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. You look out here, yeah, this is where the heavier amounts of rain will occur, maybe over an inch, inch and a half in the Phoenix area, you get Tucson as well. So if you're going to be traveling westbound, well, you're going to see some of the heavier rains. If you're going to be flying out of Tucson, Phoenix, you may get some flight delays, so call ahead. This particular model run indicating that we could start to see an increased chance for some rain once we begin to head into late tomorrow night and also into your Thursday. And if you take a look at some of the rainfall numbers, according to this particular model run, uh, maybe right around six tenths of an inch, quarter of an inch there in the Las Cruces area, greater amounts again farther off to the west of us. So right, let's take a look at another model run, potentially how much rain we could see. This model is not too bullish on uh, producing a lot of rainfall. You get out there in Deming, maybe four tenths of an inch, a little more than a half an inch out there in the Columbus area, but not a whole lot expected in and around town. Up in the Sacramento Mountains, maybe Cloudcroft over an inch up there in uh, Rio Doso as well. But again, as we make our way into late Thursday, this model saying, you know, maybe a tenth of an inch of rainfall. So again, we'll have to kind of continue to monitor these models, potentially how much rain we could see. 91 out there now. We have 86 in Deming, 89 for you folks in Las Cruces. Some rain cool there in and around the higher elevations. We have 79 in Sierra Blanca, Van Horn holding at 75 degrees. All right, rain chances. 50% tomorrow, 60% chance on Thursday. Isolated pockets of heavier rainfall. The, the rain chances start to come down, we think by Friday and into the upcoming weekend. 30% chance of a storm tonight, 69 degrees. Tomorrow, 86, variably cloudy. We have a 50% chance of some showers and storms. 68 overnight in Las Cruces. Your high tomorrow at 84, variably cloudy skies. The more sun we see tomorrow, uh, it'll be more un unstable, so the instability will increase. First alert through Thursday. Again, mid-80s in here as we bring in the cloud cover, as we bring in some chances for some of the showers and storms, and the rain chances go down to more isolated variety for the weekend into early next week. We'll take a break.